guys, Pila the Shark Adventure Channel. I'm finishing up my Polynesian style sailing canoe. I'm building it out of materials available at a home improvement warehouse. I have more freedom to experiment with my build because it's cheaper and easier to get. This build is an experimental style, so it seems to be working so far. Uh, it's been a lot of work, six months, to build the boat to where it's at, and thanks for tuning in. Here's where I'm at with the boat. I'm about to take everything apart. All this stuff will come out and I'll start painting the sides, filling this in with a substrate material, screen, door screen with some uh, water-based acrylic paint. I have to clean all this kind of vacuum and dust it all out. Alright, so making another one of those. This is the process of putting the screen on. I've already done underneath the whole bottom. And it comes over just a little bit. Just a little bit of an overlap there. But this is how it starts. I just hold it temporarily in place with some tape here and there. but. Um, just try to get a good crease. Having a straight flat top on these is helping. If it were curved it would be more difficult, but you're really fighting the 
the rigidity of the screen. You want to use that to your advantage as far as the kind of like folding a piece of paper. There's just a much easier way to do it than the harder way. really like this cross grain. I think it'll help this from maybe possibly cracking if it ever did due to temperature differences. It's going to get sandwiched from the sides and then it will be bolted through lag bolts into this thing. Alright, that looks good. Little beads of glue being squished out there. Looks like it'll be pretty strong. It feels super solid. I wiggle this thing here and the whole boat moves, so... I'll be bolting down either across this bolt uh, or across this way. Let's see what happens. So that was definitely not worth it. It barely covered in maybe two inches. The whole can ran out, so I got some better stuff. <clears throat> some more boat, boat style expanding foam. We'll see if that works any better. But uh, wow, that was bad. Right, here goes round two. I don't really have high hopes of this working, but we'll see. This is the $30 a can, and that was $3. That is bad. They just slap a label on it. Same result, even worse. I wanted to offer a little feedback on a test I conducted with these two foams. One is the marine grade spray foam, and the other one is the hardware spray foam. And both are supposed to expand. Um, the marine spray foam didn't really expand that much. The hardware brand that expands uh, to three inches, it did expand. And these have been in the water for about three or four days, submerged with the lid on and like this. And there's virtually no difference. There's no difference at all between the two. I mean, the marine is, it's maybe a little bit more rigid, but the waterproofing is the same. So I would just stick with the $3 stuff. So anyway, I'm putting in these <clears throat> false bottom pieces. And I uh, have the screen on there already. Overhanging just a little bit, maybe just a half inch or less. And uh, I left the end of the screen not stuck down so I could kind of push it into the gap when I get this thing in there. Let's see how it goes.
finishing up the inside and the tops to the boat. I've got my two outriggers over there matching ready for the water and my custom trailer. I added this extension on there. It's, uh, it's a chain link fence post. I painted and bolted it on there with some stainless steel bolts. Spray foam. The first round didn't go well so I'm going to try to get some other stuff. Drain holes. These will have plugs. There's two holes on either side, self-bailing. That's so I can let the plugs out if there's any water in there when I get back to shore or in the water as I'm sailing depending on the water level, uh, water line. So there it is. Kind of cool that everything matches up. The seams are all tight. Here goes my special coating. It's my paint over screen and it's going well. I'll fill those in with some more paint and uh, it's not too heavy. The boat's not even really too heavy right now. So you can easily lift it up as is with, with one hand. So, you know, it'll be heavier with the outriggers and the cross beams and the sail. But that's it. It's looking good. A lot of work. I can't even tell you how much work that was. Here goes the cradle I made. These rotate a little bit. And then got some ratchet strap brackets. Those are ex-military. And middle. And then the other side is the same. And it's designed to stay on the boat all the time until I launch it. I'll be dragging it around on the beach with that cradle from the launch site. If I sail somewhere different, I'll figure that out later. I'll have to get some wheels, uh, get some other system set up. But um, there it is, the cradle, ready to go for when I finish it. But there goes my tongue extension, and that's how it'll roll. The outriggers actually fit. Outriggers sit against here. Make sure that bolt doesn't hit, but I put it together earlier and the outriggers look really good on there. It's just really compact. It's very narrow, the whole setup. It's not even maybe, I don't know, five feet wide at maybe the absolute most. But with the outriggers, they just sit inside the wheels, so it should be good to tow. Alrighty.